Welcome to Mechnician. Today I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of the gel test, diagnostic software, and specifically looking at commercial mowers from Toro. We're going to do it today a demonstration of the Groundsmaster 4500D. So gel test has many different licenses from commercial vehicles to off-highway construction, material handling, marine. We're going to, the commercial mowers are here under the agricultural component. We're going to go under self-propelled uh, implements and you can find it under here just by searching the brand and you'll see that Toro is in here. So Toro, we've got coverage on the Greens Master, Ground Master, Z Master, Real Master, lots of great coverage. Certainly the number one uh, question we get around the Toros is around engines. Uh, I mean, and specifically trying to get something to actually be able to work on them. So today let's go in and look at the Grounds Master and come in under the 4500D. So the 4500D, you can see, has a Yanmar engine. So in order to connect to it, we come up here and just click on connect. And then Jolitas is gonna show us which cable we need or how do we actually connect to that engine. Excuse me. So two different connections here. You've got the, the green nine pin 217.9 or Yanmar cable, JDC 538A. You can physically inspect your, uh, your engine and you should see the cable there. The other way you can connect to the engine is through a multi-pin. Your agricultural kit, or if you're getting a multi-license from, from Mechnician, it's gonna come with that uh, multi-pin cable. It's gonna look like this, and we're gonna supply you some instructions. You could actually put a cable together. So say you left a cable behind, or you, you just don't have it, uh, you are able to connect to the multi-pin. So let's come in and connect, and let's have a look at the software. So in this case, uh, let's take a look at the uh, Bosch uh, controls. Could be Denso. Uh, let's take a look at Bosch for this example. So here now we're in the diagnostic uh, system for gel test. You can see we've got lots of different places we can kind of go to, to work on this engine. First of all, let's just go and explore reading fault codes. So you read the ECM and you're able to come up with some codes and obviously I'm not connected here to a mower, this is just demo uh, demonstration fault codes, but you can see we're showing three. And the nice thing about gel test, the real special part is all this over here. Integrating the technical information, the troubleshooting and diagnostic info right here where you need it most. You don't need to hunt it down, go and Google or hunt even back over to the other screens, the technical info and diagrams, it's right where you're going to need it. So let's come in and let's look at this fault code. First thing we're going to see is the freeze frame data. When did it happen? What's the current state? And then gel test integrates information about the component here for us. So we want to see this second coolant temperature sensor. It's going to give us some details on it. Here's a picture. You know, here's the, uh, the actual pinouts on it. We can click and zoom on it and we're able to know specifically uh, what it looks like. We want to see how it pins up to the, uh, the ECM we can come right into the wiring diagram. Depending on the component you click on or the brand, the model, you'll have more or less kind of technical information on components. Everything's written and under license from gel test. There is three major updates a year, which is just awesome. Our customers love it. They love to see how much gel test continues to improve. Uh, with over 700 employees, the number one job title there is software engineer, not sales and marketing. They continue to innovate for you. So here you can see, you know, this is where we've got the different wiring diagram and it's brought up our second coolant temperature sensor. We can see it pins up the port 28 and 29 and one and two, so we can go and test those. The wiring diagram can also just be act accessed directly from the left-hand menu. And if you want to understand what the legends are and the symbols, it's right there for you as well. And any other component you can search and find and, and be able to get to it quickly and easily. The last thing is part of the diagnostics is actually some troubleshooting steps. You know, again, not every fault code is going to have it, but you will find them uh, throughout the system, especially on core brands and products. Uh, the engine here, the Yanmar, we've got a troubleshooting step for this uh, temperature sensor. So it's basically given us, uh, walking us through, you know, including little countdown timers and things that help us make sure we're doing it right. Have you solved the issue? No. You know, next step you know, and so on and so forth, right? The diagnostic tool, check the measurements, you know, check our current, you know, takes you right to the wiring diagram. There's the pinout, has 
Has the check been correct? Yes. You know, check the wiring and connections. You know, here we go. Has check been correct? Yes. You know, and so on and so forth. It's taking you through uh, all the different steps uh, to basically go and, and resolve this, right? So here's the, you know, the values that we're having to test, check the coolant temperature, configurations, and so on, okay? So that's the, the diagnostic side of the, uh, of the tool. So let's go back. We're gonna attach this to the diagnostic report. Everything we're doing is being captured in a, in a report that you can either use Jal Test Garage Resource Planner to store your fleet serialized, uh, your documents, the work you do on it here in Jal Test, or you can download it as a PDF. Now let's come back and uh, let's go back to the diagnostic menu. So obviously we can clear the codes. Next thing, just system data. So, you know, engine load profiles, see how hard that engine's working. Uh, but let's go into monitoring. So here we can come in and actually take a look at the different measurements. A lot of times there's system displays too. Uh, in this case with this specific engine, we've just got access to 149 different uh, measurements on it. So we can do that at the group level, or I can come in and just independently kind of select components, or I can just search, right? If I want to find things with temperature, you know, I can pick a few of these. Um, and then if I want to see the data on it, I can, you know, either graph that data in real time to follow it. I can look at it, you know, the dashboard sort of view. The other option is actually to record up to 90 minutes, 24 different items. So you can run live field tests and be able to actually, you know, track and measure when did the fault codes fire, uh, when did incidents uh, occur, what was my temperature when I hit 100 uh, PSI or whatever you're trying to meet as a trigger. So that's live data. On the actuating components, this engine, you can actuate the, a few of them here, the EGR valve, throttle valve, not to test for uh, functionality. And then some system checks, cylinder cutout test, engine speed test. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, more specifically on the how to run a regen on this specific engine. Uh, but there is a lot of parameters here to, also you can set. So basically if you wanna you know, modify the injectors, code the in injectors, wanna see what they are, you know, modifying just basically some of the other components here as well in terms of uh, turning them on and off. Maintenance, we can come in here now and I'll show you how the special functions work. So inside a gel test, the special functions all kind of perform the same way. They operate in, in a fashion where uh, it's telling you what you're going to be doing, giving you some information, especially safety stuff. You know, in this case, we're going up to 800 degrees Celsius. You know, every process has obviously got different instructions and info, but you know, keep keep things away. It's possible risk of burning, keep the debris back. But after you get the instructions, then you're gonna to work to get to the initial starting conditions of the test. The gel test is gonna point out the, whether you've reached those or not, and then once you've actually accomplished it, you're able to move on to the test itself. In this case, um, it's now automatically starting the regen. And here that we're in demonstration mode, it's it's not uh, taking 45 minutes, but you can see it's captured data along the way to kind of help us with uh, understanding. While it's running the regen, it's showing you some measurements. And if it is a model that also has a system display, a lot of times these regens will have nice big systems that you can kind of monitor the, uh, the data during the regen as well. All right, so it's as simple as that to kind of run um, any of the special functions inside a gel test. You can see we're able to, you know, do this in service mode, you know, reset uh, the values after regen, uh, replacing them, you know, lots of things here in terms of the uh, after treatment system. And last being the data recorder. So the other thing I mentioned, you know, there is some technical information that's embedded in here. And you can see there's quite a bit we've got on the engine uh, in order to support any technical needs you might have. It's right here built inside. Okay, so that's it. So you can see here that we've been able to go in, you know, we can connect up to any of our Toro um, motors, uh, able to be able to see, you know, what's happening, where they got tier four run regens, uh, and also be able to diagnose any of the fault codes and, and work on our, our commercial mowers to keep them running. Here's a look quickly at the, the view of the uh, document that we've done before we kind of leave, just so you can see specifically, it's actually recording everything. So from reading every code gets documented, the live measurements we took, 
uh, the regen we did, everything's all kind of kept here for us. And then you can save that, add notes, and even add a diagnostic price if you're actually doing external service. So with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more gel test demonstrations, I ask you to click on subscribe. If you're looking for a diagnostic solution for yourself or your business, come and visit us at mechnician.com. We'll be glad to help you out. Very transparent process. Uh, we love helping uh, empower you with your service. Thank you.